Danny and Fitworks Hybrid Training Gym in DeKalb, Illinois. Talking calories, uh, we've seen this come up with some of our clients here in the last couple months when we look at who's being successful with long-term weight loss, dropping pounds, dropping inches. And one of the biggest opportunities to make your food plan, your nutrition plan work for you, and one of the pitfalls that we see is calories. First of all, law of conservation energy. Calories in, must equal calories out. Period. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. If it crosses the lips, it must go somewhere. And if you're not active enough, you don't have enough muscle, it will go to the hips. So calories matter. Three big mistakes we see. One, we set somebody up with a nutrition plan. Typically eat by color. Yes, we're biased. We believe eat by color works well. Why? Because it's long-term sustainable. We'll talk more about that in a minute. One of the mistakes we see is they don't eat any fat. Even though there's eggs on their meal plan, they toss the yolks out. There's olive oil in a salad, they just skip the olive oil. There's heavy whipping cream, say in a, in a shake, they skip that. They don't eat the mixed nuts, the almonds or whatever because they are unconsciously, in some cases quite literally, they don't realize they're completely eliminating fat even though that's part of their meal plan. The next thing we see, carbs. They go and completely eliminate carbs. We didn't say do Atkins. We said be mindful of what you're eating and the amount you're eating. Nowhere oftentimes does it say completely eliminate carbs, but lo and behold, pretty soon people are eating only protein and vegetables. What some of the quote unquote experts label as keto or ketogenic diet, it's not. Um, but zero carbs is not recommended. We see a lot of people completely skip that. The third thing we see is people thinking the answer to weight loss is starvation. So, and I'm gonna pick a number out of the air. We normally with Eat By Color don't talk calories, but let's say that an individual is supposed to eat 2,200 calories to lose fat, not just weight, but fat weight. Keep muscle, lose weight. Well, if 2,200 gets the job done, boy, I bet if we only eat 1,200 calories, we can get the job done faster. It just doesn't work that way. Definitely not for the long term. And remember, the real litmus test for success or failure with an approach to nutrition is quite simply asking this question. Can I do this long term? If the answer is no, you're on a diet. And most of that weight will find its way back usually with a bonus couple of their friends, which is a few extra pounds. So the top three mistakes, don't do this. If you're supposed to be eating fat, there's nothing wrong with fat. Um, some fats are anti-inflammatory, fat's the backbone or provides raw material for the production of hormones. There's a lot of exciting health, uh, health opportunities as they apply to long-term brain health, things like Alzheimer's and dementia. They're starting to look at diets high in fat and the impact they have on the brain. Don't skip your fat. Your carbs. Nobody said carbs aren't bad. Okay? No food is bad. We have to be reasonable. Why? Because calories in must equal calories out. And if they don't, the calories go somewhere. And it's going to go around your midsection, your hips, or your thighs. Eat your carbs. Don't starve yourself. This is a short-term, quick fix. May work for a few weeks but the weight is going to come back. The next thing we see, these are our three biggest mistakes, is people not adhering to this at all. We see that with macros. If, you're, if you want to car, count and you want to use macros, and really macros are a way to count calories. I had somebody say, I don't count calories, I count macros. Well, it's the same thing. You multiply your carbs and protein by four, your fat by nine, you got calories. I'm sorry, it's all the same thing. If you're doing macros, you have to hit your targets. You know, if you have your protein, your carbs, and your fat, if this is 180, this is 100, and this is 50, or whatever it might be, you can't completely eliminate these two. Or you're going to be back where? Here, here, and here. Your calories will be too low. You won't be consuming enough carbs. 
and you won't be consuming enough fat and your, your workouts are going to suffer. You're going to, if you don't eat carbs, you're going to look fat. You're going to look smooth. You're not going to have much definition because muscle is 70% water and carbs help attract that water. So you have to hit your targets. Um, the other thing is where the macros are and where the calories come from, another way or the right way to state that is, and I should probably make that a capital I, that's going to bug me. Um, it does matter where the calories come from. If it didn't, for all of you that say a blanket statement, it just doesn't matter where the calories come from, well, if you're following macros, then you wouldn't have any carbs or fat and it wouldn't matter. If somebody is setting up your program or using one of those online softwares or memberships that kicks out your macros for you, it doesn't give you only protein and it doesn't give you only protein for a reason because it matters where the calories are coming from and how many grams of the other macronutrients you are supposed to have. So don't eat only protein. The last thing is the gurus. I don't know how many coaches and gurus I've seen, and this is a marketing pitch, and now that I'm saying this, maybe you haven't noticed it in the past, you probably will see it on social media. Somebody's saying that they picked up a client who was working with another guru, coach, nutrition expert, whatever, um, and lo and behold, supposedly the previous prep coach or guru had them on a really, really ridiculously low calorie, highly restrictive diet, and that's why the person wasn't losing weight and all this other stuff. The person wasn't reaching their goals. Well, I got news for you. In all likelihood, these mistakes were happening, and the client with the new coach is leaving out the fact that maybe somebody gave them their macros and they were just ignoring the carbs and fat or maybe somebody gave them a nutrition plan it without the macros and they did they avoided fat like the the plague every whole egg had the yolk tossed in the trash or given to the dog or every carbs i saw this at a recent cooking event that i do at my local grocery stores with a dietitian there's an individual there that avoided the carbs and the meals they were making like the plague and some of the carbs it don't matter. Like green leafy vegetables are irrelevant. Yes, they're carbs, but it doesn't matter. The sweet potato wouldn't have mattered, um, nor would have some of the other carbs that we had that day. So a lot of times, again, you'll see people putting out there, hey, this person was working with somebody that had them on this crazy zero fat, zero carb, highly restrictive diet, and that's why they weren't making progress or gains. And now they're working with me and I'm gonna change that. I'm not going to say that that doesn't happen because I've seen that. I've been doing this for almost 20 years, but I've seen a lot more often individuals, even people we work with here at FitWorks. I just met with an individual who, when we started out, had an eat by color plan. Well, come to find out a month into the program, he wasn't eating any carbs. He was wondering why he was losing definition in his workout stuff. Well, who, I, I, my question was, who told you not to have carbs? Well, I thought I shouldn't have them. Well, I never told you that. So again, not that it doesn't happen where you have a coach making bad recommendations, but I think a lot of times we have individuals that aren't following the advice. They're unconsciously cutting back on their fat or maybe very consciously, deliberately, completely eliminating carbohydrates. So again, calories matter. Where the calories come from matters. And again, just look at the folks doing a macro if it fits your macros or whatever and by the way eat by color is probably the first flexible diet that's another story in and of itself um again if, if where the calories came from didn't matter it wouldn't matter what your macros were but it does um so again you know major take-home point don't make these mistakes don't completely eliminate fat don't completely eliminate carbs make sure your caloric level is adequate to support your goals and daily activity and then also, you know, make sure you're asking the question, can I do this forever? If the answer is no, you're on a diet and your success, your progress, your gains in time will fade away. I'm Ray Binkowski. Thanks for checking this out. You can find us pretty much Pick your favorite social media platform. Just look for Eat By Color. You'll find me. You'll find our FitWorks Hybrid Training Gym. Thank you.